It's been a crazy day. I mean, uh, you know, from the moment I woke up and, um, you know, I actually tried to go back to sleep, get a little extra rest, and, uh, you know, my brain and my heart wouldn't let me. But, um, no, it's been it's been a good day for uh, for my family, you know, for friends back home and, um, you know, previous teams, Bemidji State, and, you know, for myself personally, I think, uh, you know, it's a, it's a day that's, you know, kind of validating to the work and the ups and downs you've gone through. But, you know, uh, and I mean, no one's told me yet, but it's 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 pretty obvious to any athlete the work's only begun. This is only the first step in a very, very long process. And I'm very much aware of that. And, you know, you're not, uh, you, you kind of enjoy the moment and giving myself a day to, to enjoy it. And then, you know, uh, you know, come tomorrow, the, the work starts and uh, the real work. I mean, uh, you know, you're just starting off as, a, as an NHL player and, and things like that. So, um, you know, whether I'm considered that or, or not, I mean, it's, it's time to put in the work and, you know, become a pro and do have to do what pros do. And that's focus in every single day and do all the right things every single day. So, um, you know, kind of giving myself this day to, to kind of enjoy the experience a little bit and, um, you know, contact friends and family and, and, and uh, you know, talk to them about, because it's their experience too. I mean, every single person who's helped me, who's talked to me, who's coached me, who's athletic therapist, um, you know, all my family back home at Oprah Perform at the gym, you know, even even athletes other athletes I mean it's all part of them that help people you know like myself come through this path to get to where I am and um, you know it's it's obviously it's I'm just I'm just playing hockey that's what I'm doing I'm having fun playing hockey and all those steps along the way have prepared me for uh, the journey I'm about to go on so um, I mean I, again I, I kind of ramble on but just enjoying the day as, as much as I can before the work starts tomorrow so different players have different needs and they have different things on their minds um, for me it's about opportunity being a college free agent I mean you want to go somewhere where you're gonna have opportunity and and for me it's it's I guess an advantage being a right-handed big defenseman that you know uh, there there are very minimal amounts of, of guys like that in in uh, hockey nowadays and um, you know my uh, my main thing was to go somewhere where I was going to get a chance to play. And, uh, you know, I've been proving people wrong all my life, and that's what I continue to do for the rest of my life. So, um, you know, I'm just going to go in with a good work ethic, and, and that's the thing that I wanted to do is, you know, go somewhere with good coaching, really good coaching, and, uh, you know, the development process, and, and somewhere where I can go and put in the put in the back work and, and uh, you know, develop as a, as a professional hockey player. So, again, a big part of it is conducting yourself the right way, um, you know, having a humble... Uh, uh, modesty to your, to your, um, you know, your walk and the way you talk to people and and the way you carry yourself throughout the dressing room, you know, throughout these buildings, throughout uh, other teams' buildings. When you're talking to different people, uh, when I'm in here talking talking to all of you, it's it's saying the right things and and knowing what the task is at hand, and that's being a Bemidji State Beaver. And the big thing for me was, you know, all that stuff's going on on the outside, but that isn't even a part of your life until now. You know what I mean? So throughout the season, I was a Bemidji State Beaver. I was a college student grinding through classes with all those guys over there who were just, just finished working out. Those, that was my life. And I, I made sure I focused on the right things, focused on you know, getting my workouts done, you know, rolling out, doing, doing all the little things to help those guys win and, and to help uh, Bemidji State you know, get through the playoffs and, and have a good regular season and do whatever you know, I had to do to make sure that I played well for the team to win. So um, as far as the speculation side goes, I mean, there, obviously you're going to have people asking you questions and things like that. And, um, you know, there's, uh, there's never a definite answer because no one knows. I mean, anything can happen throughout a season. Your mind can change. Your mentality can change. Um, you get injured. It, it, there's a lot of different factors. And, um, you know, it's definitely uh, making sure that you, uh, you don't get too far ahead of yourself and look into the future too much because, you know, if you look into the future, you're not paying attention to the present. So. Um, that's kind of how I went about it and handled that speculation um, that you asked. So I, every kid dreams of whether it's signing an NHL contract or playing in your first game in the NHL. Or, I mean, regardless, it's you know those are huge dreams and, and some that you know almost every little hockey player has. And I remember to myself, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years old, just playing uh, you know Tim Bits hockey up in Canada. And obviously that was the end goal, but you have to be a realist at some point. And, um, realize that you know not everyone makes it to the NHL, not everyone makes it to college hockey, not everyone plays junior hockey, and you know I was fortunate enough to to go through ups and downs that you know taught me the lessons in life that I needed to learn early to become successful now, and uh, you know to not even successful now but just uh, you know get myself onto the next level each each step and keep progressing and um, it uh, it was definitely a big dream of mine and it's fun to you know take the very first step in fulfilling that dream and. 
um, no, it's an exciting process. It's 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 fun and it's uh, it's really good for my family and uh, you know all the loved ones that helped me get to where I am today and you know uh, coaches and, and and everyone involved in the process. So it's uh, it's good to see in any sport. I mean, any team that's in first and you have the possibility of joining them, it's it's extremely exciting. I mean, you know. Uh, you know, kind of the the culture that they have, and they're they're uh, you know because they are a fresh team, they they've uh, you know kind of put a, a mark on themselves as a team that you know is out to win, out to have success, and out to play hard every night, and you know give uh, not giving any team any reason to beat them. And um, no, it's uh, it's definitely exciting that uh, you know the team uh, you know I've decided on is that it, it, they're in first place and they're in a good spot. You know, going into playoffs and carrying a lot of good momentum and playing some good hockey. So. It, uh, it's exciting for me. It's exciting for my family again and all my friends. And um, it's going to be, uh, you know, an exciting uh, a couple months here. So I think that's huge. Anytime you can go in and see familiar faces, I think uh, it gives you a comfort factor that, you know, you, you can go in. And it's it's kind of like going into a brand new environment like I did coming in here. I mean, you don't you don't know a whole lot of guys. And um, fortunate enough, again, I knew Justin Beaudry and Brendan Harms when I came in. So it's kind of the same transition, you know. You, I, I don't know Brad incredibly well, but I, I, I know him enough to connect with him through BSU hockey and everything like that. So um, it'll be good to, to see him and um, kind of pick his brain and see how he, he does things and, and learn the ropes from, you know, everyone in that organization to, to become a pro and um, be the best pro that I can be. And um, no, it's, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm super excited. Since, since I first came here, it was uh, an organization that, you know, I knew the tradition here and and the amount of pride that everyone had um you know coming in here you were you were told before that when you come in here you are a beaver for life and and you're not playing you know not only for yourselves but for the guy sitting next to you for you know the alumni up in the stands um you know coach peters who dedicated his life to this organization um you're playing for the fans you're playing for you know everyone that that uh, has some impact in in this organization or in the university and you're playing for an entire university and that uh, that will forever stick with me um, you know so uh, my time here is has been I've tried to make the most of it and um, you know I I, uh, I put every single ounce that I had into this organization and made sure that you know I, I conducted myself the right way as a, as a beaver should and um, you know, just enjoyed my time here. I, you know, I again against the speculation question. I, I never knew when it was going to end. I mean, coming in here, I expected to be here for four, four years, and uh, you know, it, it comes up being you know cutting it too short. And um, but I mean that that's life, and and uh, you know, I'm excited to move on. But you know, I'm uh, also kind of saddened that I have to leave. You know, Bemidji State, and not necessarily in the past, but I have to leave this organization as. Uh, you know, as a student, as a college athlete, because not many people get to do that. So um, my time here has been amazing. I mean, everyone down, it, it'd be hard to list them all. I mean, teammates and coaches and stuff like that. So um, no, it's it's been it's been two very, very good years. And, um, you know, it's tough to leave, but, you know, exciting things ahead. And, uh, you know, just trying to make everyone proud that helped me along the way to get to Bemidji and who here helped me get to the NHL. So.